We had been exploring the cave art of this part of Sulawesi with our scientific counterparts in Indonesia, the National Research Centre for Archaeology and the local Cultural Heritage Preservation Branch based in Makassar, as well as our colleagues from various other uh, local counterpart organisations. It's an amazingly rich rock art province there in, in Sulawesi. This cave is in a really well explored area. You know, our teams have been through there a million times and then one day, you know, one of the guys just looked up and noticed uh, what seemed to be an entrance to a high level cave, climbed up a fig tree route to, to investigate it and then bang, there's this incredible new rock art site in there that's essentially like nothing we've ever seen before in this entire region. It's this beautiful painting of some sort of hunting scene involving what seem to be these wild animals, a type of wild pig, as well as a type of miniature buffalo known as an anoa, only found on this island. Very small but dangerous animals. Uh, amongst this uh, group of animals running across the cave wall essentially, you can see a, a whole group of these tiny little hunters which at first we thought, wow, th these look like little people hunting these animals. But when you look closely at them, you can see that the, the figures themselves have been portrayed as part human, part animal creatures. They're what we call therianthropes. Uh, like, for example, one of them seems to have the head of a bird and another one seems to have a tail. They're armed with what seem to be spears or ropes that they're using to hunt these, these wild animals. It, it suggested to us this, this extraordinary scene shows some sort of story or, or myth. From what we know, here, it's complex, it's fully complex, and it could be linked to, to like spirituality. Exactly. We had never seen anything like that at all anywhere in Sulawesi, so we, we were stunned by the implications of, of this image. Rock art is exceptionally difficult to date in the best of circumstances. We find the rock art in these limestone caves where naturally over time these mineral growths develop all over the cave wall and in some cases when we're very lucky these mineral growths develop over the ancient rock art. And, and they're like a calcium a carbonate coating yeah. and we can date them with the uranium series dating. So essentially we can date when those cave popcorn formed on top of the painting, so it provides us with a minimum age. So that's why we can say that this panel here is at least uh, 43.9 thousand years old. So it could be much older than that. This was just mind boggling because this showed us that this was possibly the oldest rock art anywhere on the face of the planet. It's also the earliest, what we call figurative art, an, an image of something that formally resembles what it's intended to represent. To me, this site is like ultimum of of you know like rock art you know like that's it's everything there there's like a few end stencils animal paintings there's human there's a narrative scenes there's human with, with like animal features like it's all there and it's not just all there later it's all there from the beginning I know. it's just amazing and to me it just shows how much more rock art is out there waiting to be discovered that completely changes our understanding of the human story absolutely